Hey, good morning. It's Scott Bush here with Century 21 Real Estate. It's starting to look like spring. It's the end of March. It's supposed to go up to 70 degrees today. Today's topic is annual geraniums making them perennials. That means they die the first year and they don't live, but we're going to make them live for year after year after year. Or the way I kind of look at it, it's just one long year with some cold spots in between. So what I've been doing here for the last few years is uh, I've got a window box in front of the house and I've got some plastic inserts that have some geraniums in them. And before the first freeze comes, the first hard freeze, it can frost, but can't have a hard freeze. I take them out of the, uh, out of the box, put them in the garage, let them winter over. One year I killed them in February when I thought they were thirsty, so I gave them some water and I think the roots swelled up and then they froze in the garage and that killed them. So I don't do anything to them other than put them in the garage. They look kind of ratty, they look like they're going to die, but every year they seem to come back just fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, get the geraniums out of the garage, trim them up a little bit. Uh, I'll show you a little bit about how I made the window box and uh, we'll put them in there and see what happens. I expect to see red flowers just blooming away in about a month or two. So we got the containers out of the garage. They're plastic, buy them at Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. These have to be about 30 inches long, about 7 inches across. And I built a wooden flower box that holds these things uh, out front. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But uh, again, all I did was take these, put them in the garage for the winter. They, um, they look ratty, they look uh, kind of crummy, but we're going to trim them up, we're going to put them out there, give them some water, maybe even give them a little food, and the next thing you know, we're going to have red geraniums. Okay, so we've uh, trimmed them up, and uh, so you know you don't get too carried away, but you just kind of trim off the dead stuff. And those are looks dead, but there they are. And here's the window box out here in front of the house. Let me just show you a little bit about how I built this. As you can see, there's no bottom to it. So you can stick your hand down through and reach down through. Uh, it's just some pressure treated wood. This is probably a um, two by eight, two by ten, something like that. I cut a little angle to it just to give it a little shape. It's got some boards on the front, put some zip screws through it, uh, might have even used screws that were made for outdoors. This thing's been sitting out here a long time. Got some little dividers. The wet is made so that the flower containers will just catch on the edges and stick themselves up. When you water them, the water just goes straight through to the bottom and it doesn't rot. Okay, so we got them in there like that. Get some water, a little fertilizer. We're gonna have flowers. Outdoor, indoor, outdoor fertilizer. Just open it up, give it a little sprinkle. Don't get too carried away, it's fertilizer. Water bucket. And you can just soak them, and that's what we do in the summertime. We just soak them, let the water run out the bottom of the containers. The times I've had a wooden flower box out here, it lasts about two years and just rots out. This system here is the only thing that falls apart on this system is the plastic eventually degrades, and you got to buy new box, new containers. But that should do it. Give that a month or so. We should have geraniums. 